I love time travel. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you cast seriously? Did you cast that fucking act? I, I, I cast it and then I found a stick and then I mixed some glue out of crushed charcoal and pine sap and then I got a bit of wool because I didn't have any leather left over. So it's tied on with a bit of ancient wool made from soy sheep. I hold it in the middle a bit more. Can I see it? Can you uh, see that now? Oh man, that's fucking amazing. I'll have to come over and fucking have one then. Will oh, you yeah. do me one? Well, you'll have to come next summer now. Well, I might be. Well, we'll talk. That's that's too serious, that stuff. But yeah, I'm hoping to be there. Uh, 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 uh. Will they let me? Well, am I allowed to have one then in London? I thought Bronze Age axes have been banned because of all the knifings with kitchen oh. knives. No, oh, I, I think tis only knives have been banned. The, the small bronze-headed axes are purely historical. Yeah, hatchet, hatchets are all right, basically, and it? it's a different thing, isn't it? it it's only small, no, sure. I, I'd say it was for carpentry or something like that, you know, whittling at a piece of wood, you know? You've been whittling again, have you? I have, I have. I did the handle as well. Oh, I think that might actually be... Willow. No. Willow. No, it's not. Hold on. Birch. This is Birch. Birch. Just told me. That's amazing now. Well, Jesus. Fancy that. The first letter of the Orm alphabet. The letter B. Wow. Yeah? And so then you've been up to no good then? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I've been, I've been going to uh, pubs and drinking in Germany. Just the odd pint. And I'm finding... That getting drunk, people getting drunk in Germany, it's a very quiet affair. Uh, there's never any fights, and then th there's very little singing on the way home, I noticed. And gosh, you, you, you wouldn't even know anyone was drunk. Really? Good. Yeah. Have they got kebab shops there? Listen, sir, I saw some fella there while I was having a pint. He had three, and he didn't look any different after it. He was still Pretty able to have a conversation in Swahili. Which was most interesting. Oh, really? Do they have kebab shops? That's what I want to know. In Germany. Of course, of course they have kebab shops. They're nearer Turkey over in Germany, so of course they have kebabs. Ah, oh, right. And nearer to Turkey you are, the more kebab shops you have, right? Like a kind of. Yeah. Exponential. The pond and the ripples go out and get weaker, but wider. That's right. Actually, out. no. Historically, the very first kebab shop in Ireland was in Limerick in the year 1847. My word. No, 1789. No, wait a 1789. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, it was 500. No, 7000 BC was the first kebab shop when some Turkish uh, tribes came over to Ireland. <coughs> Amazing. Do they, are they good customers for the bronze axes, the kebab shop owners? Oh, they're the great. Oh, they're they great. They can start the kebab with them, can't they? Like, well, they can do that, but they also do a lot of whittling with the, uh, the axe. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you know what's always amazed me about kebab shops is the way that the, the, the sheep that they use add such a fucking huge leg. That they I know. Have thing going round and it's like triangular like that and it's like the massive i've never seen a sheep with legs like that 
Did you not know they breed them specially with massive legs? I think yeah. they're, they're, they, they use mostly bananas and melons. They feed them bananas and melons and they're able to get really thick set legs. Yeah, I've never seen a sheep like that though, except in a kebab shop. It's amazing. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been, I, I hope you, you don't mind, but uh, uh, tonight we, we have got a few fans around to uh, see the show. If uh, I, I would have thought you don't mind too much, and I'd like to introduce you, if that's all right. Is that all right? You may, if you like. You can try, anyway. Okay, all right. I'm up for the challenge. There's one. Yeah, I can I can see a bright light and I can see an open window. There's one. There's there's someone there. I can see someone. No, there's Hello. a fan. It's one of my fans. Well, hello, fan. How many fans do you have? So, three. And there's one. Uh, can you? There's one over there. Down there, little one. Little fan. Hello, hello fan. But that one up there, that's my biggest fan. It looks like it now. Yeah, God, yeah, I yeah, hope, yeah. I hope it doesn't fall on your head. You know, living here, it's a bit, you know that scene in the beginning of Apocalypse Now where he's lying on the bed and he's a bit drunk and he's like, he's on the bed and he's looking up and the, the fan's going round and round and round and round and round and round and round. He's not watching telly. There's no internet then in those days. And he's just in his game round and round and round, Steph. And then what happens? Oh, go away. And then then what happens is he, he, he imagines it's like an helicopter. Oh. Like the, the fan becomes an helicopter and it turns into like, oh, all these helicopters going off to bomb innocent people in Vietnam. It's like that round here. Well. I, I'm sure you're right, Tell. I, I've never actually seen the film. And if I have, I was probably drunk at the time. So I don't remember it. But uh, it's a good analogy now for what's going on in the planet right now, deep down inside the planet where the fairies live. 